Our next activity is called the missing half. This is going to be a reading activity. In this activity, you'll get a story, a whole story that has been cut into two pieces, part A and part B. With those two parts, students A will find a partner, students B. They'll match and read the story together. After you finish reading the story, partner A will answer B's questions. Partner B will answer A's questions. <clears throat> now this activity is going to show you that you don't need to understand every word in a reading. Right? You don't need to know every new word that you see. You can still understand what the story means. It might be a little harder. You might really want to know what the specific individual each word means. But I'm going to show you that you don't have to know every word to understand the story. Okay, now I'll show you what I mean. Let's take a look at the TV. On the TV there is a picture. And most people, you know, who is in the picture? A doctor, right? That's an easy word. Now let's look at some of the other words that we know. Something simple. What is this? It's a pen. Perfect. P-E-N. It's a pen. We use a pen to write. Okay. So the doctor has a pen. What's he wearing? A necktie. What color necktie? Blue. Good. And how about the white part? That's his coat. There's a special word for that coat. Does anyone know? It's called a lab coat, okay, L-A-B, a lab coat, laboratory coat. The doctor wears this to keep his clothes clean. All right, there's another. How about this part, does anyone know? He's writing on this. Paper, yes, but what is holding the paper? Okay, we don't know, that's perfect. We're gonna put it here. That is a clipboard. Okay, we've got a clipboard, that's excellent. How about around his neck? Yeah, this is a really difficult word to know. Okay, does anyone know what this thing does? What does he use it for? Why does he have it with him? Okay, he wants to check something. What does he check? This part here. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. It's a beat. What kind of beat? The drum beat? Not a drum beat. It's a heartbeat. Yes, okay. This is called a stethoscope. Here's another new word. Stethoscope. Okay, so those are two new words from the picture. Now, if I asked you, what is the doctor doing? You could easily answer that question. You could say, he's talking to a patient and he's writing some notes. Now you could use these new words. You could say, he's talking to a patient and writing notes on the clipboard. And that might sound better, but I will still understand your answer, even if you use simple vocabulary. In the story, you will see some difficult vocabulary. Those difficult words are important to the story, but you can still understand the story without them. Okay, now let's get to the story. Let's find out what will we do in the missing half activity. Okay, this is the whole story. 100% of the story. Ah, okay, you can see it's blurred. I don't want you to look yet. See, there's a story, it's blurred. This story is the whole thing, 100%. What is half of 100%. One half of it, if you cut in half. 50%, okay. There are going to be two students. One student has 50% of the story, one half. The other student has 50% of the story, the other half. Together, you can make a whole story. 
So the first step in the missing half activity is get the story. Let's draw our little person. He gets a paper from the teacher, so he's very happy. Yay! He's ready to go. He's excited. He's an A. And maybe the next person in line gets a paper, A. And another student gets a B. So there's an A, B, A, B, A person. That's step one. Story A gets this side of the page. And story B gets this side. So it looks A and B. See, the next step is finding a partner. You have to match student A and student B together. So you find a partner A plus B looks like this. I'm an A, yay, A, A team, great. Plus B, this is the B team. Oh yeah, this is a team. When you find a partner, you sit down face to face. I don't want you to sit this way. I want you to turn the desks face to face. So you'll be sitting, one student, A, in his chair, yes, he needs a chair, and student B will be sitting here. And he needs a chair too, in his chair. Face to face. Not side by side, like this, face to face, like this. You want to make eye contact with the person. You want to hide your paper. Once you sit down, once you are face to face with your partner, I want you to read aloud. But not loudly, just aloud. I want you to read in a classroom voice. So let's all try it together. Loud. Okay, loud. Good. Next, soft. Soft. Okay, is loud good in the classroom? No, loud voice is no good. Is soft? No, that's also too hard to hear. Let's keep our voices here in a classroom voice. Together, voice. Voice. Okay, so you find and you read. You read aloud. A, 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 A. And B, 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 B. Reading aloud. So you read the whole story to your partner. You read as a team. Student A reads the first half. Student B picks up and reads the second half. Then back to student A to B. Back to A and B. It's like a game of ping pong. A, then B, A, then B, A, B, A, B, A, B. Back and forth. And lastly, more importantly, is the question paper. There's questions and answers. Questions and answers. Questions and answers. Together, as a team, student A will ask questions to B and write the answer. Student B will ask questions to A and you will write the answer. You'll write your partner's answers, not your answers. Student A writes student B answers. Student B writes student A answers, not your answers. Write your partner's answers. You're writing his answers, not hers. You get your answers? No. You get your partner's answers. You get your partner's answers. Okay. It's Q and A. Question and answer. Let's read the directions one more time. Students, teacher. Okay. One, two. Thank you. Look at the board. There's number one. Together, get the story. That's A and B. Number two, find a partner. 
A plus B. Like this matchup, make a team. Number three, sit face to face. You don't want to stay side by side. It's too difficult to read. You want to turn your chairs face to face. Next, you want to read the story aloud in your classroom voice. Not too loud, not too soft. Classroom voices. And number five, complete the questions. Okay, please stand up, push in your chairs, and line up here to get your papers. <laughs> 